The object I would like to present to you today is currently not on display in our exhibition spaces, but is located here in our storage facility for large objects. The vehicle behind me is an armoured personnel carrier of the British Armed Forces called Fighting Vehicle 432, or FV 432 in short. Built by GKN Senki, the FV-432 was put into service in about the early or mid-1960s. The vehicle is comparable to the more known or more popular American M113. In contrast to its American counterpart, the FV-432 was not made of aluminium but of steel, which made the vehicle heavier and slower than the M113. As with the M113, there were different versions of the FV-432. For example, versions were produced for roles such as mobile command post or mortar carrier. An armored repair vehicle version was produced for the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers under the designation FV-434. The British Berlin Infantry Brigade also used different versions, including armored personnel carriers and armored repair vehicles. Between 1970 and 1976, 13 vehicles of the standard personnel carrier variant were equipped with a two-man turret with a 30mm automatic cannon for test purposes. It was the same turret that was fitted to the then recently introduced Fox Reconnaissance Vehicle. One of the original 13 FV-432s that were equipped with a gun turret is standing here, right here behind me. This version was intended to give the infantry increased firepower against lightly armored targets, as the British Army did not have any infantry fighting vehicles at that time, so in about the 1970s. However, the project was discontinued by the British Army, as weaknesses in the design were found after the conversion of the first vehicles. For example, Adding the turret meant that there was not enough space for the soldiers who were to be brought into action with this vehicle. While in the basic version there was room for a squad of about 10 soldiers, as well as a driver and a vehicle commander, the space available after the conversion was reduced to six infantrymen, a driver, a gunner and the vehicle commander, partly because of the amount of space needed to operate the automatic cannon and to store the 30mm ammunition. Twelve of the already modified vehicles were then moved from the UK to West Berlin after the project was discontinued in order to increase the firepower of the units stationed on the front line of the Iron Curtain. These moving images of a maneuver of British troops in the American Urban Warfare Training Center called Doughboy City within the Parks Range training area in Berlin's Lichterfelde district from 1983 show two of the modified FV-432s in action. The task of the vehicles was to bring the infantry onto the battlefield, to provide cover from enemy fire for dismounted soldiers and to provide general fire support. The armor with a thickness of up to 12.7 millimeters could however only withstand smaller projectiles or offer protection um, against shrapnel. The camouflage paint of this FV-432 is particularly striking. In 1983, the geometrical camouflage painting was applied to adapt to urban surroundings. It was only used by the British Army and only in Berlin and in Belfast in Northern Ireland, both of course densely populated urban areas. The otherwise usual camouflage painting, which was designed for open terrain or central European vegetation, would have missed its desired effects here in Berlin. Bit by bit, several British vehicles were painted in this new camouflage layout. The American and French forces in Berlin also did some experiments with this color scheme, but discontinued after the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989 at the latest. Here you can see an American experiment from 1983. On the left is an American M60 main battle tank, in which an attempt is made to conceal the silhouette with the textile shreds and sandbags. And in the middle, another M60 is covered in the experimental rectangular camouflage pattern. And on the right um, is a British chieftain main battle tank, also in the geometric livery. This particular FV-432 was handed over to the Allied Museum's founding staff in 1994 by the British forces withdrawing from Berlin. 
In 2001, the vehicle was restored in Mönchengladbach by the British Forces Germany, or formerly known as the British Army of the Rhine.